Hello everybody. I just wanted to talk about a good way that you can gain experience in Seven Ways to Die. And the way that I'm referring to at this time is fetch, or not fetch quests, excuse me, um, clear quests, where we have to go to a location and clear every single zombie. And clear quests are quite good for this because obviously you cannot complete the quest without killing every single zombie. And if you get a larger location like this motel that I'm at now, you can have quite a few that you need to defeat before you can uh, hand them a quest. And that, in turn, increases quite the largely the amount of experience that you gain. I did not mean to fall down here. That's super cool. So we can see that purple bar at the bottom of my screen is my quest. And you can see that I'm gaining even just a... A nice considerable amount already. I am trapped in here. Just kidding. Found that key to open the door. So what I was referring to, we go through and we gotta clear out every single room in this building and they can all give quite nice experience. Super valuable. Because we want to level up as much as we can so we can get better skill points. Which helps us to do all sorts of things. Let me drop down here. Open this door. See, in this key on the wall here, if you're in these kind of quests and you are a little bit lost of where you need to go, you can look at the keys and that will tell you kind of and show you where you need to go and see this door open now and I can get out where I normally might not have been able to before. And how we want to do these most efficiently is we want to find all the unlocked doors and usually there's a certain path that we want to follow as well. Excuse me, this one is a little time consuming. The zombies are not the most um, gathered here together, which is unfortunate, but... Sometimes that's just how it is. And we just gotta slowly work through our... work through the locations and eventually we'll defeat all the zombies and we can get quite a good amount of experience just from that. Working through here, nobody in here. We keep exploring. Keep exploring, nothing here. I'm getting pretty close to finishing now, which is great. Nothing in here. See, usually there was a light that pointed me in the direction. And if you ever get a little confused on where you need to go, there's usually lights that point you in a certain way, which is perfect. Oh, there's another zombie here. We keep working, we keep working, grab some ammo. Look at this pair of keys. This one's a little glitch, that's okay. Door unlocked. We're almost there, almost finished, which is just wonderful. I'm gonna keep exploring all of these rooms. Eventually we'll get there. Sometimes these these doors are quite easy to break if you have a good uh, tool for it, if you're a little confused. Like I am right now, but that's okay. Sometimes we can cleverly jump a little bit to find where we need to go. But in this case, we can see how there's an orange dot up here as well. If we run around, we can just go back up to the stairs of where that location is and it's kind of showing us where that final zombie that we need to take out is to complete the quest unlock this door it's gonna be right around the corner in here and there we go see we got that orange circle and now the quest is done we can go to turn in it's gotta run back to my motorcycle over here and then we can go turn the quest in sorry this is a bit of a lengthier one couldn't find that last zombie quite so easily, but now that we finish it, and we can go hand in the quest, which is perfect. Stop just right at the gate here, and there we go. My favorite customer. Probably use some uh, some vitamins. These can be quite useful sometimes. Three thousand XP just for that. Perfect, and that's one way that's quite easy and quite fast to get XP in seven days to die.